we're going to look at today, which is uh, Gerber. It's a subject I've uh, not covered for some time. And I hope, as you all know, or nearly all of you know, it's used as an alternative to uh, For No Trump, Blackwood, and it uses a bit of four clubs to ask for aces. And the responses are four diamonds with zero, four hearts with one, four spades with two, and four no trump with three. Or if you have all four, you also bid four diamonds. And the way to um, remember what to bid is not to try to memorize, the, memorize these responses, of course, but to just think that the cheapest response to four clubs is four diamonds, which is zero, four hearts is one, and so on. So that's the easiest way to remember the correct responses because Gerber doesn't necessarily come up that often. And we'll talk about when we should use Gerber and when you shouldn't use Gerber. And then if you wish to ask about kings, you then bid five clubs and partner responds in a similar way. Five diamonds showing zero, five hearts showing one, five spades showing two, five no trump showing three, or six clubs showing all four kings. And when should you use Gerber? Well, nowadays, um, it's normally only used in direct response to one no trump or two no trump, because four clubs has other uses, perhaps as a Q bid or as a splinter bid or as part of Jacoby two no trump. So most people would play it in direct response to an opening one no trump or opening two no trump. Um, some people play it in other situations as well. And you can do that if you're not going to use four clubs as one of these special bids like a Q bid or a splinter bid. But it is generally agreed that if you if you don't use Gerber and you, you bid, say, four no trump in direct response to one no trump or two no trump, that that is not used as Blackwood, but it is an invitational or quantitative bid, inviting six no trump in each case. So there are some hands where your partner opens no trump and you want to find out about aces. And then there are other hands where you really want to find out about find out about your partner's strength. And we'll look at, uh, look at those different kinds of hands in a moment. So here's a sort of hand where you might be thinking about using Gerber. Your partner opens one no trump. They've got 12 to 14 points. And you've got 20 points and a fantastic spade suit there. And this is the kind of hand where you uh, can use Gerber because all you really want to find out on this hand is how many aces does your partner have? Okay, um, so you can go straight into four clubs here, and suppose you do bid that, and suppose your partner responds four spades. Have a think about what that four spades shows, and see if you can tell me what you think you would bid here. Remember, the cheapest response for diamond shows zero aces, four heart shows one, four spade shows two aces, all right? So I'm going to launch a poll in a moment and tell me what you think you should respond to that four spade bid. Okay, let me end the poll and I'm going to share the results with you. And most of you have gone for six spades, 64%, but 21% uh, went for six no trump, and there were a couple of other responses. Well, let's switch back and see what we think. Well, your partner's got two of the missing three aces. Um, so you almost certainly have got enough to be in a small slam, slam but not a grand slam. and it seems to me that unless you, uh, uh, because you're you're so weak in clubs, you really want to be in six spades on this hand. And you should bid 
six spades directly yourself. Six no trump could work out well, but if your partner's two aces are the ace of hearts and the ace of diamonds, six no trump could be defeated. Um, you're likely not to lose any spades because you've got a very good six card suit and your partner's got at least two in that suit. So this is a, a hand where I think I'd go for six spades. Any comments or questions on that? Um, in terms of the other responses, you, you don't want to sort of stay stop below game. And there's also no point bidding five clubs here, which would be asking for kings, because you, you don't want to be um, in a... Uh, uh, you want to be in a small slam anyway, even though you're, you're missing one ace, because it's probably only one trick. Do interrupt me if you have any comments on that one. On this particular hand, um, suppose you bid four clubs, and this time your partner responds four hearts. What would you bid this time? You've got the same hand, but this time in response to four clubs, your partner bids four hearts. So what do you think you should bid here? Okay, let me uh, look at those results. And most of you here have gone for four spades with uh, some others bidding four no trump, five spades or six spades. Well, let's switch back to the screen. Four hearts shows one ace. Okay, remember four diamonds would be zero aces, four hearts is therefore two aces. Oh, sorry, four hearts is one ace. Four diamonds is zero aces, four hearts is one ace. So you are missing two aces. So really, you don't want to be in a slam here because the opponents could cash two aces right away and you should just sign off in four spades. And your partner could well have something like this um, for their one no trump. And you can see that you are quite likely to lose two tricks there. And there's no point bidding five spades or anything else, really. Um, you really want to just be in four spades, I think. Do interrupt at me if you have any comments, especially if you chose a different answer. Um, this particular hand, you could also um, bid and reach a slam in, the, in a similar way if you're not playing uh, Gerber. And if you didn't want to use Gerber, what you might do is respond three spades here. Um, and that is, um, even, if you're, even if you normally play transfers, um, a jump to three of a major over one no trump is sometimes used on a hand like this where you want to um, look for a slam here. So on this hand here, if you bid three spades, that's showing a five card suit or better. Although here you actually have a six card suit. Whatever your partner now bids, say three no trump or four spades, you could then launch into Blackwood here bidding four no trump. And then you would bid in a similar way. So here, four no, if in response to four no trump, your partner bids five hearts. That is showing, remember, five clubs is zero, five diamonds is one, five hearts is two. So they've got two aces, so you would bid six spades on this one. And this particular hand you could bid either way, although there are some hands coming up which are quite hard to bid if you don't play Gerber, and we'll, we'll look at those two. Um, now, let's have a look at this hand here. Sorry, can you go back to that one, Tony? I don't quite understand. Are you saying you're using Gerber for that? I mean, we, are you using ordinary black? Yeah. Blackwood yeah. there. Ordinary oh, black. Just ordinary blackwood. Okay, that's fine. That's, it looked like that. Okay, thanks. Yeah. So you can bid this hand using Gerber or um, uh, black, blackwood. The advantage of Gerber, um, those people who like to use it, um, is that it keeps the bidding lower. And, you know, if you, you could stop in four spades, whereas using Blackwood, you might end up in five spades if your partner had, uh, had didn't have enough for a slam. What about this hand here? Here you've got a very balanced hand in response to your partner's one no trump. Uh, your partner's got 12 to 14, so you may, might well be thinking of looking for a slam. Now, Suppose you decide that you want to ask about aces with this hand, um, and I put that up for club bid 
as a question mark here. And suppose you do bid four clubs and your partner responds, four no Trump. Now, four no Trump, uh, let's think about it. Diamonds is zero, hearts is one, spades is uh, two, no Trump is three. So your partner is showing three aces. In fact, they're showing the three missing aces. And you might well think, well, maybe I've uh, I, I've got enough for six no trump here. Um, but if you imagine your partner's hand, if they they have the three aces, and if that's all they have in terms of points, twelve points here. Um, even though you have all the aces and all the kings here, you will really struggle to make a slam here. If you try counting up your tricks, I think you'll see there are three spades, ten, ten top tricks, haven't you? Three spades, two hearts, three diamonds, and two clubs. So you have ten top tricks here, and you might very well make another one in clubs, but you're unlikely to make more than 11 tricks. In fact, uh, when a hand like this came up recently, nearly everyone ended up in six no trump on this hand. But the prospects of making it are very remote. You've only got um, 10 tricks off the top, and you're unlikely to be able to make two, two, more tri two more tricks that you need here. So what's wrong with asking, uh, using four clubs to ask for Gerber in this situation? Well, this is a kind of hand where you have a very balanced hand in response to one no trump. And it's much better to make a quantitative um, bid here and that bid would be for no trump here so that would say partner i've got something like 19 to 20 points a balanced hand if you're a minimum in terms of points we should pass otherwise you should go on to six no trump so if i bring up that hand there where west had those three aces they would pass because they're a minimum 12 points OK, and you would stay out of a slam that you really shouldn't be in. So four no Trump in response to one no Trump or two no Trump is not Blackwood and it is quantitative. It's it's asking, are you minimum 12 points or are you closer to 14 points? If West here had 14 points, they should accept the invitation and go on to six no Trump. And if they were something like this hand here with maybe 13 points, then they would have to use their judgment. So this, I think, is quite a good 13 points because I've got some tens in there. I've got uh, quite a nice club suit there, which will hopefully be a source of tricks. So if my partner invites a slam by bidding four no trump, I think I would accept it on this one. And I hope you can see that you've got good prospects of making uh, six no trump here. You're going to make three spades, three hearts, and three diamonds. That's nine tricks. And you'll also make three clubs. You'll lose to the ace of clubs. But um, even though you're missing an ace, six no trump would be a good contract here. Any comments on that one? So that's an example of not asking for aces, but making a quantitative bid of four no Trump. Um, let's have a look at a, a few more examples here. Um, here's one where your partner opens one no Trump and you've got a great hand here. You might well be thinking about the possibilities of a slam and perhaps all you want to know is how many aces does your partner have here? So if you bid four clubs and suppose they respond four hearts, have a little think about that and tell me what you think you should rebid here. Okay, let's uh, have a look at your results, which are very interesting. And uh, there's a very even responses for four no Trump, five clubs, six clubs, or and one person went for six no Trump. Well, let's switch back to the show. And what does it mean when your partner responds four hearts? They're showing one ace. So unfortunately, although you have a beautiful hand, 
you are missing two aces, so you do not want to be in a slam, really. And the problem, one of this hand illustrates one of the problems with Gerber if your suit happens to be clubs. Because if you were thinking now that you'd like to just play it in five clubs, you can't do that. Five clubs is asking about kings. So that's one disadvantage of Gerber, that if your suit is clubs, you won't be able to stop in five clubs. So what can you do? You've it, It's an awkward hand here if you've used Gerber. Um, but we, there's no point bidding five clubs because it will just take us to um, a higher level. And uh, perhaps what I'll do is, given that my partner's got to have some point somewhere and they've only got one ace, um, I think the best choice here is four no trump, which is a sign off bid. It's not asking about aces again, okay? It's just saying, I want to play in four no trump. And it will be very useful on a hand like this where your partner, as I said, has only got one ace and you really don't want to be in uh, in a slam because you're missing the ace of spades as well as the ace of clubs and you can't stop in five clubs. So just watch out for that one if your suit happens to be clubs that um, you won't be able to stop in five clubs and probably the best choice here then is just to play it in four no trump, which I think will make um, you know, unless your partner was very weak in spades, you were very unlucky. But most of the time, you'd be fine in four no trump here. Tony, wouldn't you be better? Although four no trumps might make more, be more than five clubs. Wouldn't you be better just going to stopping at five clubs? You cannot stop in five clubs. Or, or just, or could you not do something different from that? But you tell me. I what mean, you if do. you're seeing four clubs, then you shouldn't over it. You shouldn't be going into Gerber, should you? Okay, so so that, that is a problem on this hand. If you use Gerber on a hand like this, then um, you, you should sort of try to think in advance what you're going to bid if your partner shows, shows two aces. So what else could you do on this hand? Well, you could, um, you could start off with a jump to three clubs, which should be strong. And then if your partner bids... Um, uh um say three no trump if you bid four no trump you'll also be in trouble on this hand mm -hmm. because your partner in response to blackwood would bid five diamonds which again is higher than you want to be you don't want to be above five clubs here so this is a really awkward hand however you however however you bid it but if you do bid gerber just remember you can't stop in five clubs So it's it's a disadvantage of using Gerber if you like, but I Tony, think so. If you start with Gerber, you can't go to Blackwood. No, absolutely yeah. no. It makes no sense. No, it doesn't because you've already asked for aces. You've already asked for aces. Yeah. Okay. So thank you. Hopefully, realise that you just want to play it in four no trump. Uh, Tony, I have a general question. Go ahead. Um, what happens if you are uh, you you're bidding suits and you can't find a fit? Uh, but you have a no trump fit, so you end up in no trumps, and then you want to start asking for aces. Uh, you can't use Roman key card because you don't have an agreed suit, or your agreed suit is no trumps. So then, shouldn't you be able to bid Gerber in that situation? Okay, um, I mean, there are people who will bid Gerber in any situation. I know another rule is you know, if the last bid was no trump, they like, yes, that's what I mean, up, yeah. And and you you can do that um, by agreement. So you know, unfortunately, there are a lot of different ways of playing the this convention, and uh, you know that that would be a possibility. The other possibility okay. is to use four no trump as Blackwood, but if no suit has been agreed, <laughs> well, so normally normally um, if you use four no trump as Roman Kikar Blackwood you're implicitly agreeing the last bid suit. So, yes. um, but th but there may be some bidding sequences where you don't really seem to have agreed any suit. But if the last bid is a no trump bid, okay. then then four clubs would be, that, that's the way I've been playing it with okay. my partner. That, yeah. that, that's that's fine. So if, you, if you're okay. that, that, that's fine, yeah. 
Thank you. Okay. Um, let's uh, have a look at this one. Um, and here your partner is open to no Trump, 20 to 22 points. And you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12. Again, it looks like you want to be in a uh, possible slam here. And uh, suppose you bid four clubs here um, asking for aces and your partner bids four no trump. What do you think you should bid here? Think about what the four no trump is showing and have a think about what you would bid here. Let's um, look at the results there. And most of you went for six no Trump here, uh, followed by six clubs and then five no Trump. Um, well, let's think about it. Your partner's got how many aces? Remember, diamonds is zero, hearts is one, spades is two, no Trump is three. Your partner has three aces. So that should be enough for a small slam. And I think the best slam to be here is in six clubs. Six no trump could be a good option. But if your partner is missing the um, ace and doesn't have the ace of uh, or king of spades, then you would be better off in, in six clubs. So I think six clubs is probably a safer option, although... You know, on another hand, you might find six no Trump does um, fine as well. But six clubs is probably safer there. Um, what about this one? Um, one no Trump here. And here you've got a lovely major suit there. Uh, again, you could um, plan to use Blackwood here or if you use Gerber, you can bid four clubs here and suppose your partner responds four spades. What would you rebid here in response to four spades? Let me launch that poll. And let's uh, have a look at the results. And we've got a tie here between uh, five clubs and six hearts with three people going for seven hearts. Well, let's see what we uh, think. Um, that four spade bid shows two aces. So they've got the ace of spades and they've got the ace of hearts. And I think that means you can pretty much count 12 tricks because you've got all the, all the hearts. You've got the ace of spades, the ace of diamonds, and you've got all the clubs as well. So... That's 12 tricks. Um, a grand slam is not out of the question here. And for that, you would need your partner perhaps to have another trick somewhere. And you can ask about kings in this case by bidding five clubs. That's my choice to you. And if in response to five clubs, your partner bids five hearts, what would you bid on this one? What would you bid now? The partner has actually shown you one king. And let's have a look at those results. Um, 50% went for seven hearts. 17 went for seven no Trump, and uh, a third of you stopped in six hearts. Well, what do we think? Well, just imagine what your partner's shown. They've shown the two missing aces, spades and hearts, and they've got a king. Okay, now that means that you're actually missing a king, but I think I can count 13 tricks because I've, I've got all the hearts, I've got three clubs and the ace of spades, and my partner has a king. And it's either the king of spades or it's the king of diamonds, but whichever it is, that should be the 13th trick. 
And I recommend that you don't normally bid a Grand Slam unless you are pretty sure you can count 13 tricks. And this time I can. So I'm going to bid a Grand Slam here. And you could bid seven hearts or seven no trump. And why bid seven no trump? Well, because you'll score better if you make 13 tricks compared to those who bid seven hearts. And you go, you're relying on, on the same 13 tricks here anyway. And I hope you can see that if your partner has what they said they have, two aces and one king, that should uh, be 13 tricks. That two of diamonds is going to get discarded on the king of spades. So, um, so you can make your 13 tricks in no trump or in hearts. Let me see if you have any questions about that. And um, I think, yeah, that was the that was the last um, last one I wanted to uh, to talk about today. So um, so that's um, um, something about Gerber. Um, basically, when your partner opens no trump, you need to think about what kind of hand you have and whether you want to make a, a quantitative invitational. If you typically used if you have a balanced hand and you want to find out if your partner's minimum or maximum for their no trump bid. Um, or if you want to find out about specific things like aces, um, then you can use Gerber uh, as the most useful bid there. OK, so that was all I wanted to, uh, to cover today. Anyone have any questions about that?